Okay, so we're gonna get this going really quick and really fast. A lot of you have asked me how do I make the custom box um, or the sublimated boxes so you can get a gift box from anywhere. Um, don't know where I got this from, but it's a gift box, um, cardboard, recycled. And what I am going to do is just show you the process really quick, okay? So what you're gonna need is the lamination sheet, non-sticky kind, all right? One side is matted, the other side is glossy. You want the matted side down. What I do is rip it in half, glossy side up, and simply just place it on, okay? And this is butcher paper, and then this is just regular uh, printer paper. Um, no real reason. Just, just do it that way. Okay, and what I'm going to do is this for 22 seconds at 400. A uh, firm press. Once that pops open, what I suggest is you let it cool down under something weighted so it doesn't warp. But just for the sake of trying to get through this video, um, I'm going to take it out, make sure there's no bubbling, and then just go ahead and press the sublimation sheet right onto it. Okay, nothing stuck up at the top. Once you take it off, sorry for the notification, it's laminated, it's on there, it's ready to go. So the next step, like I said, take it. Let it cool down for about three minutes. Play something heavy on it um, so it doesn't warp. This one won't warp because um, I'm going right in with it. My sublimation print for the drunken spade set that I make. And just set that right down. And I'm going to do this one for 35 seconds at 400. Now, it's going to go off at 20. And I'm just going to go ahead and just count it out. An additional 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Don't quote me on it. As long as nothing smells like it's burning. But to be safe, I would say 25 or 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there you have it. It's on there. Now, the next question that I get is, what do you do afterwards? So what you want to do is go in. Of course, not out of this. You want to let it cool down. I'll make it short and sweet for you guys. I will have all of the items I use in the description box below, probably except for the boxes because I can't remember. I don't know if I got them at Michael's or what. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is just cutting the edges, okay? And it glides along really well. I'm going to tell you this right now. Do not do this when it's hot. My hands are burning, which must mean I love you guys. So, yeah. All right? Okay. Once you finish all of that, I mean, you're good to go like this, but I like to make my stuff presentable. So... I usually just take it and it's not doing anything to my heat press. If you want to use the creases in here, if you're scared, do that. All it's doing is just melting those edges down and sealing them in place. I just like to seal it because it gives it a sleek look. It looks more put together. I mean, it doesn't cost anything to just do extra care and just put Love into the work you get. Think about yourself and what it is that you'd like to receive and just do it. Okay, that's it. Boom, there's the box. Just that simple. So you can sublimate and make custom boxes for birthdays, for holidays, um, anything in general. And like I said, it's good to go. I hope that's picking up for you guys. I don't know don't make videos so 
yeah, that's why this was pretty short and sweet. I got a feeling you guys are going to be like, ooh, I like short and sweet, to the point. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will be making the card sheets on 100% um, cotton canvas and show you how the rule cards go. And also, if you want to get the whole kit to make this, I have it available on my site at fairytaledreamsboutique.com. Again, that is fairytaledreamsboutique.com. You'll get all of the templates and everything that you need to make this. Keep in mind, this does also have to be made with a Cricut or a Silhouette or any type of color cutter because of the shot glasses that go with it. You're going to have to put that vinyl on there. That part is not um, sublimatable. And stuff. And like I said, uh, that's it. Thank you guys. I hope this answered all the questions. Bye bye.